The one thing I do not want you to put on there is the Guardian theme though. That's gonna drive me mental. And that is our house. Hello, lovely bookworms, and welcome to a new weekly reading vlog. It is Saturday today. I know it's a weird day to start it, but it's been a while since I filmed, sat down and filmed. I just filmed two videos and I decided to already start the vlog because this weekend, um, yeah, I just decided to start the vlog because I have nice lighting today. <laughs> it's not a good point, but... I thought I would quickly mention a little bit about how my reading has been going this month, uh, which is not good. I did finish six books, but they're all in the same series and not anywhere related to what I was supposed to read. But I did finish one of the books on my TBR, and that was this dude here. This is uh, Pages and Co. Pages and Co. The Book Wanderers. Really enjoyed this one. I think I gave it four stars. Uh, wrap up this month, so consider this a little bit of a wrap up of the month. We're on the Tell me 26th, uh, so we're very close to November But I finished this one the book wanderers and then I actually finished the Myrtle hardcastle um, Mystery series which I also quite enjoyed. It's another middle grade, but this was a murder mystery kind of and I finished all five of those they were good. I gave all of them four stars. I think I did enjoy the Pages and Co's one a lot more. And now uh, I am actually, when I'm done cleaning up my space, because this is still standing here. You're not supposed to be standing here. It's supposed to be standing next to the bookshelf. Not in the middle of the bookshelf, but it's nice for filming. This one is also not supposed to be here. This one's supposed to be up on the shelf, so we're going to clean that. And I'm currently reading the what is it called at Oggy Aggie Aggie Morton mystery queen series and I'm starting with the first one which is the body under the piano and the second one was peril at owl park the dead man, dead man in the garden and the seaside corpse so I'm gonna start with that um, I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning um, the boyfriend is cooking he's making beef bourguignon and it's the smell Oh my god guys so that is gonna be my saturday there's gonna be some friends over later today uh they're also gonna eat the beef bourguignon and then tomorrow we actually are going to Ficus to um a party and um, for her dad who is going on pension so that is nice i'm not gonna film there tomorrow at all but it is what my sunday is gonna look like but i hope i can read a lot more I've been watching a lot of Criminal Minds because I'm really in the mood for Criminal Minds. So that is what I'm gonna do right now. I just thought I would open the vlog and I will see you a little bit later. Hopefully, maybe, maybe Monday, we'll see. Hello, it is Wednesday today and I have just started editing the vlog that I was supposed to upload a while ago. So this is footage from the beginning of October that I still am editing and I figured I would incorporate that into this weekly reading vlog so before we actually continue on with this week I want to head back into that week which is the first week of October so I did uh, some drawing we also gave away the key to our gave away but my partner's old house was sold and there was the time to sort of hand over that key filmed a little bit of that filmed our old, old house mostly filmed the old house not the handing over the key or anything and also i filmed a little bit of the nature that's very close here which i filmed i think on a sunday and i did some drawing that i filmed so i want to incorporate that here before we continue on with the rest of this weekly reading vlog so without further ado let's just dive into that first we're here so it is completely utterly empty so i'm gonna film a little bit of it i actually used to film a lot next to the window here there was a tv on this side couch was on that side and yeah i'm gonna flip you around and show you a bit 
So I'm standing in one corner of the house now. This was our view. So we had two windows, this one and this one does open up. And then going back here, you can see it from <laughs> the amount of uh, power we have over there. This was where the TV was. And then there's the door. There was a little shoe rack here, plant lamp. We had these beautiful, beautiful curtains. These were, so we have these in-betweens and we had these that took out the light completely, which were perfect actually, like almost a millimeter. And then this side, this is, you can see it a little bit, but this was where the couch was. This was my bookshelf area. So there was a bookshelf here. There were those little planks, no, shelves up here. And then this was where one closet was and kitchen. Boyfriend is obviously here. Hi. This was the main door. We had aircon. This was our, I would say this is storage. We had everything and nothing in this. This was huge. This was storage. So we had everything and nothing in here. Safe was in here. They're quite big. Like there was a lot of space, but this was the only storage we had. That's the old flooring. This was the new flooring. Never saw this flooring, but it's the only part that's still here, I think. And then the kitchen. Kitchen is exactly the same as the one we have now. So the same front and the same tops. I personally am happy that the oven is a lot lower now. We have the same oven, but with a grip now. There's one here. This is the fridge. We had these huge, huge drawers in there that we have again, luckily. And this was the other drawer. And then we had one below here. Also a huge one, it's very deep, as you can see. Then we had this one, which is one of those like peanut cabinets that you can put your pans on. This guy, of course a little one underneath the sink. We had like towels and things like that in there. A little hook for the towel. And this is dishwasher. So that is the main living area that we had. And when we move to this side, we had our bed here, we had these. The mattress is gone. Actually, the new owner wants to get the frame, so that's being left behind. And these were boxes for storage, like winter and summer clothing, which fits perfectly underneath the bed. Then we had, then we have our balcony, which is definitely one of my favorite spots about the house. We would sit here, have a cup of coffee, and we had this huge greenery because there's huge houses behind here, but because of the greenery, it felt really secluded in a good way. So I really, really loved that. And I love the view, honestly. It's beautiful. So this is the bed I've moved back inside. And then the final room we have is our bathroom. We had the washer here, we had no dryer. We have a window here. We had this thing closed all the time because it was just more convenient. We have shower, sink. We both had one of these drawers. I had the bottom drawer. This was mine. Toilet, of course. I had a little wreck here uh, with all my skincare and whatnot. So there's that. And this was our clothing. I can't open these at all. They're like, I. I, I physically can't do it. So we had these hooks on here that I could just pull it open. And we had these cubies and then the shelving up top. This is way too tall for me. So this was my boyfriend's and these three were mine. And then we shared the little hanger. But this one, like it is, one it is quite small, but it was also quite low. So there was not a lot uh, that helped in that sense. Um, with hanging, you know, anything longer than a t-shirt, you had to sort of hang twice. So yeah, that's the final part. And that is our house, was our house, our old house. We, I lived here for a year to the day, actually, and you 13 and a half? No, 11. 11? 11, yeah. 
11 years. We really liked living here. It was really, really nice. So the inspection is in like 15 minutes, a couple minutes actually, not 15, it's like five, something like that. And then we're gonna hand over the keys to this place. It is currently 7 p.m. We are gonna have a friend over tonight who's gonna sleep over, but right now I am drawing or coloring, I wanna say. I put I put my PJs on. I actually bought new PJs. So I have this in this beautiful green color and I love the pants. So the pants are like this. And I really, really like it. So yeah, that is that is good. But I am coloring and I just did this page. I think I'm gonna go for this one after, so I'm gonna film a bit of that. I really like that one. This is the Higa Place Bold Coloring Book. Already started on the first page, did that a while ago, and did this one, which is the little ducky, which is really cute. And now I think I'm gonna do that second one. I actually got a little basket, let me show you. So I got this tiny, it's more of a crate than a basket. Uh, and I think what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna get another one and letters and also use these for my TBRs. So I have a little crate that I can put my TBR in. But this is currently standing on my uh, little rollaway cart. I'm gonna do a little bit of drawing, coloring. I have an iced tea with some lemon in it and you just it's so refreshing you press on this is a sparkly iced tea and you take one of the lemons if i can you should hold please you put it down and then you press on the lemon to add some of that lemon lemony goodness to your drink and it's really nice just very simple I'm sure this is nothing new to you, but... And get some coloring done. I don't wanna let you down It's the only thing I think about every morning You know my life ain't figured out 
But I promise if you stick around it'll never get boring We'll spend nights with cheap red wine Look at flats even though we can't afford them I don't wanna let you down I don't wanna lose you now Will you stay Even when you wanna walk away When times get bad We can learn to love what we have I don't wanna let you down in my life without you would be boring and we'll spend nights cheap red wine look at flats even though we can't afford them i don't want to let you down i don't want to lose you now And push comes to shove, girl, just trust I won't get sick of us Do my side team crush uh, I'm doing something different Your name's been on my tongue My cup's been looking fuller You're picking by my walls And baby, let's settle up Cause lately the world's been going crazy And I gon' need somebody to talk Saltine and ginger ale That shit will never fail I keep it tough on my body Cause I don't feel well Girl, tell me something else Saltine and ginger ale That shit will never fail And you may think that I know too much But now it's never too much Because when push comes to shove Girl, just trust I Won't get sick of us Oh, hold up, Simmer Come for Queen, my squeeze at night Who opens up this package is too tight Oh, whoa, uh, and know you got it like that Bring it on back, cause you got it like that Ah, oh, yeah, and know she got it like that Sometimes desserts are best when last Or your daddy gonna beat my ass Yeah It is Monday today, I'm off today. I didn't vlog for a while, so I have some backup editing to do, but this week I'm gonna focus on vlogging again and 
uh, reading wise I don't have my book here I'm still my book first book of the month of November uh, October pardon me um, but it is what it is I um, I think I'll be reading a little bit later today it's now half past 11 I need to get some food in and <laughs> that sounds weird but I need to eat and other than that I yeah I have the, the day off today I decided to just take the day off I'm really excited to chill. Yesterday was even more of a chill day. I didn't put any makeup on and I was in my PJs the entire day. And I was watching Criminal, Mind Criminal Minds. Really, really am liking Criminal Minds at the moment. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And let me quickly grab my book so I can talk about what I'm currently reading. All right, so I've quickly grabbed my book and the book I'm currently reading is this one, which is The Book Wanderers, Pages and Co. I'm quite far into it, so about halfway. And I'm planning on finishing this today. So just lazing around the couch, uh, have a cup of tea. I actually got my favorite tea uh, when I was out shopping with my mom last week because I was also off on Thursday and Friday. Decided to have a mini, mini weekend, mini long weekend, if you know what I mean. And I'm planning on finishing this today. This is about a girl who lives with her grandparents in a bookshop. And then all of a sudden, some of her favorite characters come back to life or come to life in this bookshop. And she finds out that not only can she see them in real life sometimes, but she's able to sort of book wander and go into the books. And that's, um, yeah, the premise of the book. I'm really invested in this. It is definitely a middle grade to its core, but this is one of those books that I would easily lend my kids if I had kids. I don't, but say you have a kid that's about 10-ish, something along those lines. This is the perfect book for them, I think. It says, oh, it actually says ages 8 to 12 on the back. It's a puffin, a puffin book, but yeah, there's a lot of these in this series. I also have the second book in my shelves, and yeah, I'm really, really liking it so far. So that is definitely one that I hope to plan to finish today. And then one I want to start is also on my TBR, and that's this guy, the Pumpkin Spice Cafe. I think this is perfect for the fall season. It is one of those, it really feels to me like a Hallmark book. So I'm hoping I can get to this one too. So there's these ones. That said, I also want to show you a book that I got on Saturday. So we live quite close to the city we used to live in and we decided to still go to the market on Saturday. So we take the car, we go there and in that city called Daventer, they also have quite a big bookshop that I really like with a huge selection of English books. Yeah, the book I got is Cackle by Rochelle Harrison. This is about a, I think a woman um, who Something along the lines of going to a small city and then discovering magic for the first time. I don't know that much. I read it when I first got it, but I'm just really excited to dive right into this. And this is, I think this would be the perfect book for sort of autumn season. So I think I'm going to add this to my TBR this month, October, and otherwise carry it over to November. And then lastly, because it is actually here in the Netherlands, the week of the English book, uh, I actually got a little um, sampler uh, of the Bone Season. So it's the novella called The Pale Dreamer by Samantha Shannon. I'm pretty sure Samantha was also in the Netherlands this week, but I had no time to go to a signing of hers. And this is, I think the, um, yeah, it's just a little prologue to um, The Bone Season, I think. Yeah, The Pale, Pale Dreamer was originally published in 2016. I did read Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon, which should be here somewhere because it's huge and you can't, yeah, it's over there. You can't miss it. But I'm pretty sure I also have the bone season somewhere. Yeah, it's up there. You can't, you can't see it. It's actually just above the uh, S.H. Equibordy book over there, which is the old cover still. I got it a while ago. These apparently are the new covers and they have multiple new covers for the, the bone season. So I might... I don't know if I pick it up, but it looks really cool. This is about like a poltergeist, so it's perfect for the autumn season. I think I might put this on my little reading TBR for today and like go into a little bit of a reading frenzy and read these, hopefully. In any case, I'm gonna go downstairs. I think I'm gonna put my new LP on because I actually got a three pack LP of just sell the music. I'll show you that when I'm downstairs and yeah, my day, my day is going to be chill. I think I might put some laundry on, uh, clean the house a bit and I mean most of that my boyfriend already did this weekend which was very sweet 
and yeah, I'm gonna enjoy the day. Hello, so I have moved downstairs and I actually had a cup of tea, had some food, and I finished my book. So I actually read the remainder, so the second half of The Book Wanderers, Pages and Co, The Book Wanderers by Anna James. This is such an ingenious book. I really like the story arc of this, so just, you know, friendship, book wandering, something that's really cool is when a book incorporates something that happens in the plot in the stylistic elements which is real nice i really like it and also just there's illustrations in here let me show you one from the beginning see if i can show you there there's one here but there's also major ones that connect to the story which is really really interesting and i think it is such a cool book to read i'm very tempted considering this one definitely ends on a cliffhanger to continue with the second book but i have a couple more books lined up so i'm not sure what i want to do um we'll see because i do still have my little wild card spot but before i actually head back into my library which i'm calling it now to figure out which book i'm reading next i thought i would show you my new lp i bought so this is the one that i got and it is so beautiful it has three so there's side A, B, C, D, E, and F. And then side A, we have the first one, which is the main theme, uh, the Adventure of Link, Palace theme, Dark World. And then on the second um, side, we have Ballad of the Windfish from Link's Awakening, Song of Storms, Ocarina of Time, Zelda's Lullaby, Ocarina of Time. Then we have on side C is Song of Healing, Majora's Mask, Palace of Winds, Four Swords, Adventures, the title theme of Wind Waker, I love that one. Never played Wind Waker, but I really want to. Then we have side D, which is Minish Cap, or uh, Minish Village from the Minish Cap, love that one. Then Ilya's theme from Twilight Princess. Linebeck's theme from Phantom Hourglass, I love, love those DS games. And then on side E, we have Realm, Over Realm Overworld by Spirit Tracks, also love that one. We have Skyloft, which is Skyward Sword. Laurel Castle, A Link Between Worlds. That one is etched into my brain. So if you have the DS game A Link Between Worlds, Chef's Kiss, my favorite. And then side F, which is the final one, we have Woodlands, which is the Force Heroes theme, Breath of the Wild, and the main theme of Tears of the Kingdom. Um, but this is a really good one so far. I really, really like it. And I hope that they'll do more of this, which is not just the main themes and everything, but like the in-depth, I would love to have a lot more from the older games, but also the newer games because I think Breath of the Wild is beautiful. The one thing I do not want you to put on there is the Guardian theme though. That's gonna drive me mental. But other than that, this is really, really nice LP and I really, really enjoy it. So very happy you got this one. Anyway, um, right now I think I'm gonna decide what I want to do, might watch more Criminal Minds first. And yeah, it's now quarter to three, so I might have another cup of tea. That's That rhymes, unintentionally rhymes. And yeah, I'll hopefully talk to you later or otherwise tomorrow. I'll definitely update you on the next book I'm reading. All right, so that said, I think 
I'm really debating what I want to do currently because I'm currently, I have started, which I've read a couple of chapters of the Aggie Morton book. Aggie Morton? Yeah, I think it's the Aggie Morton mystery series. So I'm tempted to continue with that one, but that's four books that I might not be able to fit into my November TBR. So I'm tempted, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, honestly. But I also kind of want to start with this one, which is the Pumpkin Spice Cafe, because it feels so cozy and all of that. So I might dive into this one. I don't know. Um, I'll let you know. Uh, in general, I'm also really excited to just continue watching Criminal Minds because I have an unhealthy obsession with that at the moment. Yeah, life is very busy. In a couple of weeks, I have a week off and I'm going to Yelk. I'm definitely going to be filming that, so really excited for that. Um, but yeah, for now, uh, this is just life at the moment. I'm very busy and not necessarily happy about it because I want to sort of dive down into my bed and read books and not appear. But it is what it is. Responsibilities of being an adult, I suppose. So. I'm gonna log off for now and I will see you later. Mm -hmm.